Coming back to Dunedin for me after 20 years out in practice was like coming home. Dunedin's the kind of size where you walk down the main street and you're going to know people and people know who you are. And that's kind of nice, a real strong sense of community. And you know, a really big part of our community are the students. Uh, in the summer when the students aren't here, there's something about Dunedin that just doesn't feel right. It's different, it's quiet. Uh, and when the students are around, there's a, sort of an added layer of life. A little raw spark that you start with and watching that little spark grow into something. It's a transformation, it's like a chrysalis. You start out with a, a rough student with their shirt tails hanging out and they're not really, they don't understand professional, they're not really in that space. And four years later, magically, they turn into a healthcare professional. Oh, Dunedin is an amazing place to live. I've lived in Manchester in the UK for the last 54 years and uh, we get a lot of rain, a lot of cloud coverage in Dunedin. I walk out every night and I can see the stars. We all like the students here obviously. It um, just creates that whole, whole atmosphere, around, especially around this end of town. We appreciate them being here. 99.9% uh, .9 of the time. Yeah. <laughs> the students are a huge part of us, the dental school as well, and I think there's not many students over the last four or five decades that wouldn't have a story. I think the Captain Cook's a huge part of Dunedin life and it needs to stay that way. They're, they're a big part of the fix, um, the dental community. We've had um, students that have gone right through and then returned and they all sort of pour in here you know, during the week and um, have done for years. We've been here 17 years now, so it's really exciting for us, the new building going up, because we're going to be, um, you know, still a part of their family, really. If I could describe um, Otago University in one word, it would be awesome. There's something about not being at home, travelling to Dunedin to study, living on your own, being independent. It's quite liberating. So there's been a lot of ups and downs, but overall it's been an awesome experience and I wouldn't change anything for the world. Yeah, I came here and did my undergraduate uh, training. I look back on that time as absolutely fantastic. My student days were, were great. It's a really supportive environment here at the dental school and it's also a lot of fun. I get a lot of friendship and then also sort of learning from everyone and everyone learning off you and sort of all working together towards a common goal of graduate. Even I first came here as a student in 1975 and um, I've sort of had a love affair with it ever since. I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life when I was in school and so Otago just enticed me because of its history and science and education, obviously the student culture. So I came down and did a Bachelor of Science and ended up deciding to do dentistry. If you'd asked me 10 years ago what I would be doing now, I would have thought I was going to be in practice. If you'd told me I was going to be managing a multi-million dollar building project, I'd have looked at you rather strange. Younger students come in, they think differently, they have different approaches, and so your teaching has to change to adapt to those approaches and adapt to the different learning styles. And I want us to be the best. And we're already top 20. Uh, we're planning and aiming to be top 10 by 2025. And having a new building and all that infrastructure can only help us achieve that. I think this is a really exciting time to be in the dental school and I'm very proud to uh, be a part of this process. So it'll be good to um, get Dunedin and Otago University up with the modern technology and everything. Um, great for the students, great for the future of dentistry in New Zealand. The thing about dentistry is changed rapidly. It, it moved with time so fast that um, I think most of the dental schools trying to keep up with the technology that change. If you look at dental schools in general, they don't tend to be very patient centric. Almost like the patient is there by accident. So the key thing here is the centre of the universe for a dentist is our patients. To our amazement, uh, Sirona, who won the tender, came back with an offer to upgrade our equipment to a, a high specification, something we couldn't have imagined. There are very few schools on the planet where an entire school is fitted out with high-end tomorrow technology dental equipment. Just think what we'll be able to achieve when we put the same people, these exceptional individuals, in, state of the, in a state-of-the-art environment with modern up-to-date equipment. How can we fail to excel the already excellent position that we're in? It's going to make this place pretty special.